Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Lost in Tokyo. We are back at the Palm. No, not the Palms Casino in Las Vegas, but the Palm Shopping Shotengai Street here at uh, Musashi Koyama. Uh, we're going to be coming back here after about a year, checking out uh, everything that it has to offer. And uh, we'll actually be going over to the largest um, or the longest uh, shopping outdoor street. So we've hit these before about a year ago. I hope you enjoy and uh, remember to smash that like button. I'm just going to bring up the, uh, the replay here on my second phone, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> And uh, let's see if we are live here. Of course, you can hear my voice is getting a little bit better. Uh, hopefully, uh, later on, I guess, uh, in a week or so, we will be uh, doing much better. Uh, I am like number 11. Oh, that's lucky. That's a lucky number. But good morning to uh, Mike Hawk, uh, Jeremy, Cousin Vinny, Gabe, uh, Tetrazim. How are you? Hey, Corey, how are you? Uh, Spider Fresh, uh, Nick R, Ramsey Silent, my uh, coffee brother, my other coffee brother, Jason M. Hey, mom, how are you? So, uh, yeah, we're back here checking out uh, the Shoten guy. There is something I do want to eat. I want to check it out, see if that chicken place is still uh, alive and uh, surviving. But I thought we'd come back here again, you know, revisiting places, obviously, see if there's any changes, um, and show you places of interest uh, that we might see. Uh, during this live stream. So uh, without further ado, hey Frank B, Little Red's Adventures, hi, how are you? Believe in yourself, good morning. Um, <clears throat> I gotta hit up a vending machine, of course, and uh, my throat, I'm a little parched. I'm still, you know, got that dry voice and everything, but uh, let's get a vending machine going on for Spider Fresh and a few of you. We always get one anyways. And uh, yeah, let's go hit the shopping street and see what we can find. Pink Boy Pip, how are you? Troy Latimer, how are you? It's been a long time, Stanley. Thank you for being here. Also, uh, <clears throat> this is where we are, right here. This is uh, Musashi Koyama Station. Many exits, of course, and uh, the Palm uh, Covered Shopping Street area is just right over there. So, hi, Janet, how are you? Fried chicken feet? No. The second, how are you? See, I believe this is the uh, the west exit. You can come out of here to get into this area. But there is another uh, exit, uh, the east exit, which will take you more into uh, the Shotengai area. A little shorter trip. Obviously, it's just right around over into there. So my first task, let's find a freaking vending machine. Remember, it is uh, Super Thanks Saturday. I've changed it from Super Chat Saturday to Super Thanks. And uh, your kindness and generosity to help support this channel. I do appreciate it, so thank you. You come out into this area here, you got the L Mall here. Uh, a few, you know, they got like a gongcha over there and uh, a few uh, like ca Cafe Caldino is kind of over there, a little shopping street area, conglomerate, Starbucks. You're gonna have pretty much the same shops <coughs> as any other area. I am heavily medicated today, people, so honestly, I can't drink any beer, uh, but I can drink teas and coffees and delicious things like that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on a new antibiotic to uh, try and clear up everything coming in on my chest. <coughs> <coughs> As you can hear me coughing. <coughs> Excuse me, hey Luann and Javi, if you're watching. This is the main palm uh, shopping street area, which we'll be going down in a minute. I just want to uh, find it, see if I can find a vending machine off to the side here. Uh, lots of great stores. And a lot of stores that are, you know, very local, obviously support local with uh, these vegetable stores and these, you know, certain little souvenir, little, little cake shop or something, dessert area. Of course, you're still going to have your uh, more normal, I guess you could say, uh, things you see all over Tokyo. You know, this might be uh, a solo location kind of thing, but it is pretty cool. <clears throat> this is one place uh, here, the Tasty Quick Value. Uh, it's a yakiniku, you can do self yakiniku here, uh, where you can uh, sit at a little booth by yourself and uh, get all your beef going on. You can see people who kind of just sitting there by themselves and uh, they do have 
individual little uh, things there. So this is actually a pretty good place. I've never been here, but I, I saw a video on YouTube and I thought, damn, that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> I hope you're all doing well, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's a vending machine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think I'm going to get a cold coffee today. It's a little uh, cool out today, of course, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just grab a quick coffee here. Like I said, I'm a little bit parched. Always grab your change. Get those emojis going, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a part of the Emoji Club, I appreciate it, and uh, you have access to some fun emojis that we can use during live streams. So I'm just going to turn the camera around real quick here. I just say thank you, everybody. Good morning. Most of you are here now. Hope you do smash that like button. I'm going to try and balance the gimbal on this ledge thing here, just hopefully for a minute. No, it's not going to work, but uh, we're going to have some coffee. Anyways. Look at all those amazing emojis from all you Emoji Club members. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Ah, to all of you out there, cheers. Uh, I wish you a great new year. Okay, it's the 13th here, but still, happy new year. Oh, coffee. Love it. All right, let's... Uh, Get going on with the tour here. Hey, real life stuff, how are you? Got about 40 some odd people in the chat, so I'd appreciate it if you do smash that like button, that'd be pretty cool. And always, always, uh, thank you so much for being here. Hey, my first super chat of the day, thank you. My super thanks of the day. Thank you, uh, Jim and Harry, appreciate the coffee fund. And uh, yeah, let's get going, guys. Well, thank you, Jeremy, appreciate that too, man. Might break out some of your snacks while watching. Thanks again for sending that. I just can't believe how long it took, but anyways. So, <laughs> the Shoten guy kind of comes out uh, across this uh, main street here. Um, I usually always just stop here because I don't really want to walk that way. We've got a lot to see uh, on the main Shoten guy area. But it looks like there's a pachinko here with all the flashy lights are. And then probably some more local stores and things like that. So, again... Let's go back to where we are. You'll see, like, I love these. This is a Chinese restaurant. Their lunch display here. It's pretty cheap, man. Like 650 yen, 800 yen. Those are sets. You know, you get a little salad with a noodle bowl or something. That's pretty cheap, I would say. I know in America, that probably costs about 25 bucks. <laughs> Not sure if I said hi to Gabe. I think I did, but hi, Gabe, again. Again, you're gonna have some characteristics, you know, back alleyways. It's kind of interesting, you know, like this is actually just a residential area, but there's a lot of traffic, you know, people are walking around taking shortcuts and things like that. So, hey, it's a puppy. Oh, by the way, Vin, I lost those gloves, those pinky, whatever colored gloves on the train the other day. I'm so gutted, man. I know a couple of people didn't. If you have a question, comment or concern, uh, please at Tokyo Drew and uh, this way I'll see it in the highlighted chat. But uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. <coughs> and uh, let's start down. Now, there might be a lot of things that are different along the way here. It's been, what, over a year since I've been here. So it's always nice to revisit places after a year. I see a lot of, you know, local... Um, Vegetable shops, always nice to see. I'm always checking for prices too. See a lot of, uh, all these Shoten guys do offer uh, different stores. And of course they offer the same stores. Now this is also where the L Mall, you can see the L Mall here. It actually comes out attached to the Shoten guy. So there is a lot of shopping that you can do along here. It's kind of an interesting building for the, uh, what is that, Pachi Pachi or something, Pachinko-ish. Probably just the, the back end of the other side of the street. <coughs> Competition eyeglass store. You got uh, this one, and I have no idea. And then you got Jin's right across from them. Chiyoda Sushi. See, it's always nice to uh, visit here again. So 
tomorrow, today, welcome back. I have about 50% charge in my phone, but I've been without electricity for six hours now. Sorry, yeah, you guys, are, some of you have heavy storms and different things like that. Uh, ooh, lottery booth. Might hit up a different one. I'm gonna check my ticket from yesterday. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I heard some, you know, you guys have got bad weather. I'm thankful that I live in Tokyo because, uh, you know, we don't get snow. Even though I heard it might snow tonight, which is kind of weird, but just keep safe and keep well, everybody. And uh, Corey, uh, I just want to kind of say, go Steelers, go. Even though I don't sound that confident, we're going to kick the Bills ass somehow. Mode off is uh, secondhand stores, of course. You got hard off, you got book off. Kuhn Riku, little puppy store. This is a, uh, you know, and they always have like that dog is way too big. We need to adopt it right away. We need to adopt and rescue as many puppies in this world as we can. McDonald's, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's always one around somewhere. You actually got to be careful as you walk these Shoten guys, you can see cars crossing. There are side streets uh, where cars and bicycles actually do go uh, come through. Now this is getting uh, quite busy actually, I'm surprised. It's uh, only 11 o'clock in the morning. But, oh yeah, by the way, McDonald's has the uh, butterscotch uh, pie. I just don't know when. 30 below zero during the Steelers game. Yeah, that's typical bu Buffalo weather. Hey, Mr. Stu, by the way, how are you? Please refresh every once in a while, ladies and gentlemen. You might be lagging in the stream. Sometimes Prism does that. But by all means, uh, yeah, just remember to refresh once in a while. Now, I have, uh, over the last three weeks, ladies and gentlemen, lost seven kilograms. It's to look like that. Hmm. Again, for Mike, dramatic pause, Hawk. Massage. It's actually nice to see these two ladies here uh, sucking back a few Kieran beers at 11 o'clock in the morning. Snowing crazy there too, yeah. Yeah, it says it's going to snow, but I don't think so, Andrew. I never believe uh, anything anyways. This is uh, something that the Patreon members will see uh, in the next Patreon vlog coming up. But this is the Juicy Gyoza Manufactory. Um, er it's a chain of uh, gyoza stores, of course, and um, they actually have one in Omiya, uh, but they call it the Juicy Dumpling Manufactory um, over in Omiya, so, but still, it's all uh, gyoza and stuff. Definitely worth checking it out. How do you refresh? <laughs> Hit F5, there you go, Gabe. Thank you for helping out the community. That's what we're all about. Of course, you do have a Sakusa Tendon, uh, my favorite uh, tempura place, very cheap. Uh, you know, anywhere from about 560 yen, uh, depending on what you want to get to 700, 800 yen. And uh, it's really tasty. It's uh, cheap and it has value. Just like that other restaurant we saw earlier. Maruse, kind of like a housewares store. It's not a dollar store. Um, but you know, obviously you can see kitchen uh, things all over the place, pots and pans, you know, so on. Of course, I would love to crawl up on there, take a rest right about now. <laughs> <coughs> this is a very, very long. Um, can anybody guess how long the Palm Shoten guy is without Googling it?
I, maybe you can guess in feet since most of you are American. And might be pretty cool. I also want to say thank you to my moderators that are here. I uh, always appreciate uh, the fact that uh, you take your time to uh, be here. I really do appreciate it. To the community, to our Emoji Club members, and to all our Patreon, thank you. Looks like Luann types slow. <laughs> this is a uh, kind of recycle shop here. I still don't think, you know, a washing machine as old as it is, still $300, they want $520 there, one of the old style, like that's really old but new. A lot of these prices are horrendous. Um, except for like, you know, something like that, those fridges over there, they want about, oh no, they want 1500 Oh yeah, it's not worth it for, uh, it's not a recycle shop, but it's not a high-end appliance store either. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Here is Liquor Off, one of my favorite stores. But again, uh, you can actually come here if you have un unopened uh, bottles, you can actually sell uh, two Liquor Off. They're gonna mark the price up. Um, you know, if you bought, a, say you brought in a, a $100 bottle of uh, Hibiki, uh, they might give you $65, $70, then they're just gonna put it back on the shelf for a hundred bucks anyways. It's, it, it's supposed to be cheaper, but it's not. It really isn't. At least you could sell your alcohol if you wanted to, but then again, you know, thinking about who wants to sell alcohol anyways? Hmm, just saying. <clears throat> it's very peaceful. Uh, you know, it's going to be hitting lunchtime soon. So, uh, you know, some of these restaurants and things will get uh, a lot busier. But again... Oh, uh, we've got transmission problems, ladies and gentlemen. So, sorry if we do buffer and cut out. I hope you will still stay with me. Uh, again, some book offs are amazing. Hey Tim the dude, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Time. Sorry ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're having a bit of uh, reception problems as usual. Hopefully we'll uh, get out of it. KFC. Now this is one fast food place I actually miss. Uh, they took they took the KFC away from uh, the Tokyo Dome, and uh, now we can't get that chicken anymore. Kind of upsets me. Yum. But it is expensive. Like I, I went over to Akabane and showed you guys on a, a night live stream. But three pieces of chicken and two uh, chicken fingers, whatever you want to call it, for 890 yen, eh, I'm not sure about that. And then you have Hard Off uh, over here. Again, Hard Off is uh, gonna be, you know, your junk, your electronic music, and uh, now this is truly a recycle shop, of course. Um, price is going to be a little bit lower. Like they even got records hanging up inside there. That's insane. You can get a steam and bake toaster oven for $88. <laughs> I remember when these robots were the craze and now look at them. They're used as a uh, whiteboard holder. Is uh, the reception okay, guys? I just uh, let me know in the chat because I do worry about it. Uh, the transmission is unstable, so uh, let me know, please. Again, you have a hobby off right here. Look at all the uh, 
for all you anime lovers out there and uh, figurines and oh it's a Mario hello Mario nice I really got to get better reception. Sorry, guys. Dollar stores available. The chicken shop that I uh, visited a couple years ago is actually still down here. We'll check it out. To have a bite to eat with you guys. going to pop out here. Yeah, I'm going to pop out on the side street here, see if uh, it gets any better. Because it's really pissing me off as usual. Trying to find a ledge that I can use just so I can have a drink and uh, <coughs> whenever I have problems it does upset me as a live streamer so apologies, apologies and apologies but uh, let's put you down here. I just need to get a drink real quick here. My throat is still parched and uh, my voice is getting kind of raspy again but uh, yeah guys thank you for joining me today. I uh, always appreciate it. Uh, we only got about 50 people in the chat which surprises me. Um, no idea. Ah. Yeah, okay. Feel a little better anyways. All right. As bad as when you droop underground at a subway station, not as oh, okay. Maybe once we get to street level um, on the other side of this, <coughs> no idea why. But anyways, let's not make it uh, a big deal, Drew, because you're awesome. That's going to be my motto this year is uh, you're awesome for 2024. And uh, yeah, we're just going to scroll on down. I'm going to... I'm gonna refresh my live stream here, just to see what's going on. <clears throat> they actually have a Seiju Ishii here, which surprises me. Uh, this is the same, oh wow, they actually have a Kura Sushi right above there too. Kura Sushi is good, you know, I know a lot of you uh, actually do Kura Sushi also. We're almost at the end of this uh, shopping street and the chicken place is uh, at least I thought the chicken place was still here. We're sitting only at 39 likes, guys. So uh, if you would smash the like button. I would appreciate it. Oh, no. Okay, wait. Am I in the, no, I'm, not, I'm in the wrong spot. I was thinking it used to be like right here, but... Oh, another massage, but they are expensive as hell. So, again, you're going to see a lot of... Uh, stores that are popular in Shoten guys but then you come across you know specialized individualized uh, stores here which is what I really really like to see you know again support local it's pretty cool oh and they got black garlic is that black garlic oh god roasted garlic black garlic 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 I should pick some up for Hiromi might have to come back yeah, definitely. <clears throat> that would keep the wife happy with black garlic. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate it. <coughs> so yeah, this is where the chicken shop used to be. Now it's called Rabbit's Cafe. So the chicken shop, actually, the reason I wanted to bring you here in hoping that it was still around was it was the only place that I could find in Tokyo that actually that actually um, soaked their chicken in buttermilk. Now we all know 
when you have fried chicken soaked in buttermilk, how delicious and tender. Well, some of you actually remember me ordering uh, one of the chicken dishes from here, and uh, kind of sucks, kind of puts me in a meh kind of mood now. Mm -hmm. Nice to see, look at this, they haven't changed anything. Uh, it's probably the original thing from 50 years ago, 40 years ago. Um, you know, like signs, a lot of signs don't really have their phone number on there anymore, but a local vegetable shop, I, this is what I appreciate. You know, locals supporting a local vegetable shop. And it looks like, you know, that, that lady that just walked out from the back there, that's probably the daughter of the, uh, you know, the original uh, owner. You know, hand it down to your kids as you're going along. Again, Daikokuya uh, Recycle Shop. Uh, they do have uh, discount tickets and money exchange. Looks like this one has discount tickets. I'm not sure about the money exchange, but you know, sometimes they do give you a good, uh, good deal. Uh, you know, when I'm shopping for American, but each shop is individually owned, and each shop does have their own percentage of. Uh, Another local bakery. Nice. It does, Jeremy. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, dramatic, Mr. Dramatic. Oh, nice to see some uh, little. I just parked here and. Bikes because of the stupid the palms. Now there is outdoor shopping um, on the side. Very, very, very cheap uh, place. If I was uh, living in this neighborhood, I'd probably stop here and do all my shopping. <coughs> it's like a, a mini, mini Costco kind of style thing. They serve things in reasonable bulk, uh, one kilogram packages and stuff like that which uh, I think is better than Costco and getting a three kilogram. Another recycle shop here. You can buy these brand new for 10 bucks. They're selling it for 980 yen. Again, a bunch of useless junk, but you know, one man's junk is another person's treasure or however they say that, you know? I always love looking at these kind of stores because you never know what you're gonna find. Like I'm looking, I can see rotary phones back there. Who in this day and age would, would buy a rotary phone? But I guess for like Natsukashi or nostalgic uh, reasons, it might be uh, kind of cool. You know what sounds really good right now? Country fried steak with proper gravy with either mashed potatoes. Oh my God, no, no, forget the hash browns. Mashed potatoes for sure. Look at the old Mark II, wow. A little French uh, cafe. And then when you come here, at the end, obviously, uh, you can see the palms here. Um, that was the, uh, just so you know, that was the uh, Shoten guy that we were just walking down. Hey, DeConnor, how are you? Uh, DeConnors, uh, for all my Patreon members, postcards will be mailed out on Monday. Uh, sorry, it's one day late. Uh, usually I mail everything out on the 15th. Wait, 13th? No, it is the 15th. Um, and then, uh, yeah, a couple packages will be mailed out also uh, via air mail, but it's still taking three weeks or something like that to uh, get to you. But uh, the DeConnors and Christian uh, and uh, Krapaquists, We'll all uh, be expecting something in a few weeks. So thank you. Hi, Laurie Leonard. How are you, by the way? Um, I hope you enjoy your gift, Fran. I'll say Fran. You guys will die laughing. Uh, come on, camera. All right, so to go up to the uh, next Shoten Guy area, you just gotta take a quick, I think a quick little uh, walk up the side area here. <coughs> Actually, you know what, Ram? On Sundays, usually when I have uh, meatloaf dinner on uh, Saturday nights, um, Monday, fr uh, Sunday morning, mashed potatoes, refried, yum.
Absolutely freaking yum. For sure. Also, if you're not a part of the Emoji Club and you'd like to help support the Emoji Club, um, please join our uh, channel membership. Join down uh, button below this video, and uh, it's only 190 yen, guys. Uh, we have we lose a lot of members. We dropped another 30 in the last week. So by all means, ladies and gentlemen, please sign up again today, especially if you're gifted a membership um, out of the kindness of the community's heart. Somebody's giving you something, you might want to renew. Just saying. Hey, Cobra, how are you? By the way, son, I got my box yesterday. Papa Mike loved those potatoes. Oh my God, you got the, that long, eh? I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> that was back in like October or November I sent that, just like Jeremy. I'm, I've, with my packages now, um, you know, a bit better quality stuff. Um, and this way I can send it airmail and keep the cost down. So they have changed a little bit, but and I'm using out my, my TD uh, mailers. So hopefully uh, you enjoy what is being sent. Hope you can hear me well. Now here, coming to the, all you have to do is look for this peachy color uh, building, the dominoes, and uh, you know you have hit the right area. Uh, this is Toshogo, I think it's called Toshogo, Tosh something like that, uh, Shopping Street. Now this street, of course, is the, uh, the longest outdoor shopping area. It goes for blocks upon blocks. Uh, Toshu Toshogi, I believe it's called, yes. Um, that one is a damn awesome, the palm uh, covered Shoten guy, as you saw, but the chicken shop is done. Socks. Uh, but I have another, I have another snack place up here that uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Um, and then we, yeah, you just come straight down the street here. It starts again. I'm sure a lot of you remember this street, but it's going to see uh, what's changed, what uh, is great, and uh, get our snack on. Again, if you are just joining, I, I do hope that you uh, help support me by uh, pressing that like button. We always try to get 50 likes and then to 100 likes uh, before we finish up with these live streams. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Domino's. I know we've had that, that little thing about local pizzas to Pizza La to Domino's to Pizza Hut, but they have this pizza. A it's a cheese volcano in the middle. And I thought, wow, how do they make the dough like that? You know, so on and so forth. But they don't. They put like a cup or something. In I'm zooming in there. I don't know if you guys can see it very well uh, with the glare, but you can see the cheese uh, bowl in the middle. They bake it right into uh, the pizza itself. I'm trying to get the glare out, but I can't. Um, it looks good. You can get Quattro style. You can get this style. Uh, they say 40 centimeters lot big, but it's not that big. Um, yeah, sure. I'd rather have the extra pizza pieces and uh, dip into my own cheese sauce, but just saying. No, the bowl is not edible. I believe it's uh, like a cardboard or something. Uh, they just put it, they just line it with cheese when they bake it and then get the melty cheese in the middle. So is it worth it? Yeah, I don't know. No idea what this company is, a lot of empty boxes. Something for 500 yen inside there. Hey, Holly Homo, how are you? Now this Shoten guy is a little bit more personal for locals. Uh, the Palm, you know, a lot of people come from all over the place to actually shop there. Um, but this here, uh, Toshogi or Toshogo, whatever the hell it's called, uh, is a bit more personal for locals, especially when you get up further. Um, a lot of local shopping, right? And except for, you know, those live streamers that come here and, uh, you know, kind of show the community what I'm doing and, yeah. Yin, how are you? I just returned my trip from Tokyo and back to San Francisco. Sorry that you live in San Francisco. 
I had so much fun and towards the end of my trip I got sick and felt exhausted from all the walking. Oh, I bet, you know, when you come to Tokyo you do a lot of walking. Ask Feng. <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> sorry you got sick. Actually, I got sick in Vegas and I'm still recovering three weeks later. And mom, I hope you're feeling well also. I went to Kichijoji district and you recommend you recommended but did not make it to the Weno district. Wet mark. Yeah, um, Weno would have been a great local uh, area and local feel, of course. It's uh, full of tourists, full of locals, full of everything. Um, Weno is pretty awesome. What I really like about the outdoor area here, you don't see it, but as soon as you come walking in here, you start seeing these Ginza um, signs. Oh, I can see an airplane taking off from Canada. And we're gonna hit up all these local stores here. I don't need a barber shop, but. Thank you, uh, Yin, I appreciate it. I do sound a lot better, thank you, Laura, yeah. <coughs> Over uh, the past week, um, you know, I've been drinking a lot of water, drinking a lot of uh, citric acid, actually, uh, plus with my medication, and uh, it's really helped. All right, so now we're kind of getting into more of the uh, actual part of the Shoten guy where it starts getting busy, you know, all the businesses are around, vending machines. And it's nice to see a lot of uh, local uh, stores here. This, like this little cafe here. I said they go from, uh, it, it, now I've never seen this. I'll show you in a second, I'll zoom in. But a cafe, you know, they got pies, they got uh, cakes, they got coffees, they got ice cream and all that. But what I've never seen before is a sign saying no PCs. Now, you see that sign, why is that? Let me know in the comments what you think. Came here last time, tried a taiyaki, and uh, it was a okonomiyaki taiyaki. The Ampan Man vending machine. This one looks like they got a yaki soba. What the hell? Oh, guys, guys, we gotta try it. If if they have it. A yaki soba taiyaki. I think I'm gonna try, or at least see if I can anyways. I'm gonna put you guys down. Let me go check it out. <coughs> I've never heard of a taiyaki yakisoba. Oh, and, and we still have the okonomiyaki. Hey, Antio, how are you? Yaki soba taiyaki? Really? That's <laughs> Right. Hi. 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 Hi.
I don't know if, can you see that? Look at this. A taiyaki yaki soba. What the hell, people? Taiyaki yaki soba. Can you wrap your mind around that? Wow. I'm gonna pull up my coffee here. Ah, the medication makes my, uh, <clears throat> me, um, my voice dry. All right, I'm gonna try and uh, show you guys. Th this is insane. Oh my God. And it's so full. It's so messy. Look at this. It's yakisoba. To all of you out there, cheers guys. I need to start showing how weird. Like, this is going to be good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Yakisoba. Obviously, it's savory. With the taiyaki. You know, kind of like uh, just a bread or but a little bit semi-sweet. Perfect. Mm. Yes, Cobra. Absolutely. I do agree. The messier, the better. Oh, we hit 50 likes. Thank you, uh, Ramsey Silent. Appreciate it. Frank B was gifted the membership, too. Mm. Okay. Not only do you have the noodles, but you got the cabbage, the onion, and bacon. Bacon, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. It's hard not to not want to eat this. Mm. Amazing, guys. Mm. I'm coming back to get some more. Well, yeah, for two, mm, 270 yen. Hey, Tyra. Why is that most? That just made the perfect snack. Need more coffee. They have point cards here. I don't come here enough to get a point card. There's customers coming in and out each every five minutes. So it looks like they're doing a pretty good job. Probably a local uh, place that is probably actually really good. Somebody said something about custard. Custard is my favorite usually. Um, so taiyaki is like Thai um, is kind of like a fish, right? Um, it's a battered thing and with different fillings like onko or red bean paste, uh, custard. But this store here, they make the taiyaki, which I mean taiyaki, <laughs> the yaki soba, which I just had. But last year when I was here, they and I think they still have it, the okonomiyaki taiyaki. So yeah, it's, if you want to say that if it's, a, if it's a waffle, I guess you can get away with it for the idea of understanding. Mm. That was good, guys. All right. Let's move on. And I noticed something interesting here is those are the uh, onko or red beans. Mm. All right, she's actually, she's, the lady that just walked in is ordering an okonomiyaki one. <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is Super Thanks Saturday, so if you wanna help support the channel, I do appreciate it. Uh, I try to raise funds for uh, the channel and getting out and train costs and all that stuff, so thank you. But more importantly, let's smash that like button. Let's get to the hundred now, but 
We've only got a few people now, so. Have a great day. See you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Co Compass Coffee. I've never, it looks like a unique, uh, looks like I can hear them grinding the coffee beans inside. So some fresh coffee right there. Another uh, little grill restaurant here. That's a pretty cool building. I like the front of it, even though the rest of the building is quite modern. Ah. Also, if uh, you're not aware and uh, you are here, but I'll just tell you guys anyways, of course, uh, I do have a second channel, Tokyo Drew Travels, uh, where I post a video once a week or so. And uh, we're at 400, I think, and 20 subscribers right now. Uh, trying to hit that 500, so if you haven't subscribed, please go on over, help support me, and uh, I do appreciate it. We've got about three videos over there for your enjoyment. I'm number 45. Hi, Michael Tata, how are you? You're number 45, but we already hit 50. Oh, they actually got a pizza place with Italian flags up there. I was, I was gonna say like, oh, they got a pizza place, and then I saw the flags. <laughs> nice quiet little area, you can hear uh, background music going on. <coughs> yeah guys refresh every once in a while any meat shop menchikatsu yes there is actually 420 subscribers thank you uh mike dramatic pause hawk there is a bunch of uh, street food and uh i believe the last time i was here i went for the menchikatsu but it was way too greasy this looks like karage and a bunch of uh, bento style places so. a lot of local here oh i see korean i see korean right up there nice look at this this is oh this would be my favorite place if i lived in this area oh, wait that's not korean was it on the second floor oh second floor yum i have an infatuation Almost a love romance with chicken, with karage. Love it. Okay, I could eat it every day. You can make karage into different tastes also, like uh, garlic and salt and shoyu. Well, that's a nice looking apple pie right there. When you see that much filling in an apple pie, yes. But that wouldn't be as expensive as uh, America. That's for damn sure. <clears throat> kimchi is is okay um i'm not a big kimchi fan but you know if i am eating bibimbap or something like that of course uh, you need the kimchi some nice uh ah uh, here's the donut place ladies and gentlemen some of you might remember the donut place i'm not sure but oh we're losing reception again as usual but these are nature's donuts. All natural made. Must be my cell phone. Oh, tonka, uh, Wako Tonkatsu place, or Tonkatsu Wako, I just call it Wako, is the best tonkatsu in Japan. Hey Keza, how are you? By the way, thank you for being here. So we're hitting a miss on a couple of the shops. Oh, we've got like a little animal hospital there. Nice to have in a neighborhood, of course. And you can just see as we are uh, keep walking and walking. Uh, it's gonna get busy. There is another train station that crosses uh, in the area. We'll show you in a second. But it's just nice to see. And it's nice for a Saturday uh, morning walk too. <laughs> this is uh, kind of like a yakitori and chicken wings. You'll see the train coming by right now. And of course they do have Osho, which is gonna be busy at lunchtime, especially with a lot of the guys and workers. Um, 
just for the ramen and gyoza and whatnot. <coughs> <coughs> what two three cars two cars uh, long the trains are quite short here but look how cute these are and these look really good actually I don't know what the hell they are oh my god yum right there Daifuku with strawberry and chocolate I don't like but that uh, cream puff thing jiggy that looks pretty damn good now this part here is the Ikegi Mil Ike Gami line. Uh, it runs from Shimu Kitazawa, I believe, up to Kichijoji. So uh, you are pretty much in the middle here, and I'll just come over to uh, the machine area here. So this is kind of a, a map. Uh, we are way over here, and uh, it'll start off at Gotanda. It, oh, sorry, I, I'm, I'm wrong, actually. It goes to Kamata. I'm thinking of a different line. Sorry, guys. Um, I was thinking of uh, the one that goes between obviously Shimu Kitazawa and uh, Kijijoji, but it starts off at Gotanda here. Uh, it hits a few pretty good areas, but not so popular areas along the way over to Kamata. Kamata is where I first found that yellow vending machine with the root beer in it, of course. But yeah, the uh, Tokyo T Tamagawa line, you have the Mita line, the Namboku line, the Oimachi line, the Shin. Uh, the Tokyo Shin Yokohama line, the Sotetsu lines. There's a lot of lines in this area. Let's see what's that? Let's go check out a train for a second here. I think maybe he's just stopping. Ah, uh, he's just stopping. So, so there's a lot of connections. Oh, puppies! Of course, you do have your conglomerates, uh, 7-Eleven, and all the different uh, Tori uh, Kizoku, which is a little cheap izakaya to local izakayas. Of course, you have coffee places like Detour for the boys. I haven't seen John McKee here today, but I know he appreciates coffee also. Remember, if I have not said hello to you, uh, I apologize, but at just hi at Tokyo Drew, and I'll see your message. Coco Curry, the institution of curries in Japan. Hey, Tay, are you watching? I know Cobrat's husband really wants to go there. Another tonkatsu uh, kind of karage place, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah, might be all right. That's a small daiso right there, wow. You know, but uh, I guess, I. I would think, well, actually, it's pretty deep. It goes very deep inside, actually. But just having the entrance that small, I'd probably miss the damn thing as I'm uh, walking around. Ah, oh, shumai, manju, different uh, peach lemon tea. That might be uh, nice. I'd, I'd rather have that hot than cold. Oh, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, congratulations to me. <laughs> I made a, uh, a shorts video on the, uh, the tornado beer machine um, where it fills the beer up from the bottom, gives you that perfect head because who doesn't like head? And uh, hit 10,000 views in like 36 hours. I was like, what? Probably won't make any money off of it, but still, Probably had about 10 subscribers from that video uh, join our community. I don't know who they are. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud and happy that I had a video, even though it's a shorts video, hit 10,000 views in 36 hours. Pretty damn cool. Got the family marts. I have no idea what Spingle Move is. It's a weird name too, Spingle Move. Hmm. Now, the second, once we cross the main road, the second half of this area is more rustic and a uh, few uh, places that we can eat some food too.
Oh, look at this bakery. Now, when I see bakeries and I see that they're using UK recipes or something style breads, that's just awesome. Bakeries in Japan are absolutely amazing. If you come to Japan and you do not eat a, uh, uh, a bread or you know something from Japan, you are missing out, ladies and gentlemen. It just amazes me the bakeries they have here. Believe it or not, that little store there is a recycle shop. They'll buy all your gold and all your luxury brand things. Rip you off, of course. Nice to see a seamstress shop just like this. You know, the lady's got on her sewing machine. You can see all the wool, the threads, and everything going around, and she's working hard. Probably been doing it for however many decades. It's really nice to see these shops. Just get, reminds me of my Nana. Yeah, Starshine, I didn't want to really bring it out, but uh, all the best, man, really. Kinza Koza Corner, another, uh, oh, thank you. Late to the stream, Happy New Year, brother. Traveling Gabriel, thank you so much for your super thanks or your super chats or your support. I really appreciate it, I really do. Thank you, and uh, Happy New Year to you. Hey, Jackie Hero, how are you? Main Street, very boring. You do have the Caldi over there. Uh, you got a style. Mr. Donut is just right over there. Uh, Mr. Donut is a place that I don't really uh, associate. I wanted to get a Fukubukuro bag or their Lucky Bags, but their donuts just suck to me, man. It really does. You're right, Drew, we have fluffy pancakes in Shibuya, right? The food is freaking awesome. Lawson on the corner. This lady was just looking at me. That's a guy. Huh. Now, of course, if you do come, of course, I always say, of course, a lot. Um, you come into Tokyo, if you, especially if you live here, this Caldi store, not only does it have some pretty good coffees, they ground the beans fresh, you know, so on and so forth. They have a lot of unique international things. I can get dairy milk chocolate bars here. I can get just Mexican things to uh, Indian, to Vietnamese. Oh, just, it's amazing how coffees, teas, how much stuff they actually have there. Truffle chocolates, all kinds of stuff. How long do you shop, sell Lucky Bags? Um, Gabe, probably it's over now. I would say uh, in the first couple of weeks, you might find something left over. Don't know, dude. But yeah, the first... I'd say in the first seven days, it's almost over. Menya bifu, get it? Menya bifu, it says right there. Men, yeah. I'm sure you guys know what that stands for. Bifu. <laughs> Again, ramens. I haven't had a ramen in 2024 yet. But it would be nice to uh, have a nice hot ramen on a cold day. Again, Apple Hotel. Probably a decent, 100 bucks a night, maybe. Um, small rooms, but the beds are comfortable as hell, and it's nice to lie in bed and have that TV at the foot of your bed. I used to, um, when I did a lot of business trips with my company, um, I used to do a lot of Apple Hotel because they're, back then it was like under, you know, 65 to 80 bucks a night. It was pretty good. Katsudon, of course. Katalpa, how are you? Yeah, I, I can't agree. Maybe on websites and stuff, but you never know. Oh, I remember the pudding place we had here. A little Indian restaurant here. Across the street, another tonkatsu. Bento uh, shop. And I'm surprised people, like, drive that fast down these streets. This is typically a walking street, but um, you know people obviously drive down it because it is still a street. But honestly, on the weekends, like you'd think they would have these things blocked off, which amazes me. So, Caesarea, 
So here, here's a couple hours you want to kill, get something to, uh, cheap to eat. Size area is right there. And uh, go for karaoke. You can actually bring your own food into this, this chain of karaoke. Uh, bring your own alcohol. Uh, but you know, they do offer uh, all you can drink things too. I saw someone opening one from Mr. Donut. They got it for the coupon for free donuts. They sell out the New Year's Day according to the video. No, they didn't sell out. Uh, I was there last week, or uh, I can't remember exactly with Hiromi. We could have got one uh, in Ikebukuro, actually. Um, and uh, <coughs> it was uh, available at that time anyways. But yeah, you know, basically you get uh, a bunch of coupons, you get uh, uh, 30 donuts and or whatever it is. It's worth it, uh, you know, for either the 26 to 54 dollars that you're going to pay. Now, of course, Tommy's, Tommy Pudding uh, was opened up about three years ago here. Um, <coughs> on average, about $4 uh, for any one of their puddings, from chocolates to custards to matcha to strawberry. Um, and they come in these cute little uh, keepable, keepableness jars. Uh, we actually had one uh, before, I'll show you the sign in a second, um, but definitely you, want, you might want to check this out for some sweets, but there's so much more to see, so let's go. See, aren't these, uh, aren't these little uh, things so cute? Looks like a rare cheese or something, and then I'll just zoom in with him here. Look at that. Hey, El Snellerbeck, how are you? So you can see the different puddings. Hey, we got walnuts. We found nuts, ladies and gentlemen. It has nothing to do with walnuts. It has to do with clothing. Import clothing store. I wonder if the things would fit me inside there. Ah, oh, meat. I would definitely want to check this out, I think, later on. Thank you guys for your super chat support. I appreciate it. Let's get those likes up and uh, thank you for the Emoji Club support uh, at the hour or at the 50, 50 uh, like button time. Thank you. This here is the mascot. You'll see, the, I think we've seen it a couple times already um, as you're walking down. That's kind of cool. He's holding the sushi uh, tray there. I hope that's fake. <laughs> it doesn't turn green. Zach Recycle Shop. This was here last time I was here. Pretty damn good uh, shop. It looks, it looks good. It looks full. You know, it's not sparse and you could probably rummage around. They got lights to antiques. I can see antiques inside. I wish I could go in with the camera. Christ, they even got a couch up. Look at all the stuff they have on the side here. That's insane. I'm trying to get out of the sun at the same time too. So you can see, you know, just like uh, back home, we have recycle shops and stuff like that, but yeah, way too, way too expensive. I, I don't know what they do, but I do like this high chair right here or this step thing or yeah, it's a high chair. That is pretty cool. 66 bucks though. So maybe not worth it. Sometimes if you look really good, you know, uh, brand new stuff at a store might be the same price and or cheaper. I could not see me sitting on this. It's only 77 bucks, but hey. Love these kind of stores. Absolutely love them. And you might find a good deal, like I said, right? Now, I did something stupid. I can't remember if I uh, actually told you guys, but <coughs> I think I did. Um, I ordered one of those uh, Amazon um, end of the year boxes. Uh, it actually is mailed out from China. It's probably a Chinese company. Um, I hope I get it. I hope I didn't get ripped off. 
took a chance. I knew there was a chance. And uh, well, yeah, I'm hoping to get it today or tomorrow. Uh, they did promise me delivery July, uh, January 6 to 8. It is the 13th, uh, a week overdue. But uh, hey, you know, if I get it, and uh, even if I get like 30, they say they put about 30, I, I ordered a medium box. Um, they put about 30 items inside or whatever. If I at least get one good item, I paid 20, oh, I think it like was shipping. I had to pay shipping. Uh, like really, shouldn't shipping be included and automatically sent to you? Um, <laughs> sorry, just reminding me of something. Um, yeah, it only cost me I think 7,000 yen in total but with the exchange rate. So um, yeah, if we get it, We'll be doing uh, a video on it. Laugh, laugh. You know, that's good advice, good life advice. Just laugh. Let things bounce off you. Why stress? And then you can come shopping here. <laughs> More recycle shops here. That's kind of interesting. It's a little drier. Still want 100 bucks. <coughs> now, if I bought this cheap ass washing machine and this dryer, that would probably cost me about 175 bucks. Say 200 bucks to get delivered. Still cheaper than what I have now. It was all in one washer dryer combo, $3,000. Jesus Christ. A lot of uh, recycle shops here. Ah, oh, they got a tobacco shop, a lottery booth. And this is the. Uh, Hold on, I'm just trying to move out of the way of all the traffic coming here. Hey, oh my god, Fungus USMC is here. How you doing, man? Thank you for being here. I'm glad you could take the time and your busy schedule as always. Thank you uh, for hanging out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, but uh, every time I see Fungus, I'm happy because I know how busy he is and he's one of my uh, major my supporters, so thank you. This is uh, where I came to uh, have that uh, food last time. Uh, I think I had like a menchikatsu and something. It was way too greasy. I do like the fact that, I don't know if you can see it, but they do have crates that you sit on. And, uh, but yeah, it was just way too greasy for me and I still have a bad, uh, bad thought about that. Um, you do have another uh, store across to there where everybody's looking at me, of course. And uh, we're just gonna get down more into the Chinese kind of style of street food places. I hope they're still open here. You can see how, uh, I guess, you know, how local feel it is. Um, very, it's quiet, which is cool. Another little, look at that, old style housewares. Good catching you live again. Oh, thank you, Chris, uh, Fungus USMC. Toshogi Ginza, um, this is a dongo shop. How many of you like dongo and how many of you think I should go and get a dongo? I love it. Uh, they top it with all kinds of different toppings to uh, soy sauce to all kinds of uh, things. Looks like there's a bit of a lineup, so I'll wait for your uh, reaction in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. The, the bikes on this Shotan guy drive me nuts. Of course, I want to find a lemon tea, which, you know what? I just found it, ladies and gentlemen. It's vending machine time. Get the dongo. <laughs> I need some lemon. And it's only 130 yen, so r relatively reasonably priced, I guess you could say. I hope I got a dollar. Okay, I, I have a dollar. There we go. Look at that, lots of lemon, lots of vitamin C. And it's warm. So there, there we go, right there, right there. Look at that. Get Starshine gifted one membership. Well, thank you for helping support the, uh, the club. I appreciate it. I hope we can get back up over 200 again. Um, holy Christ. All of a sudden there's 10 people in line. So I'll come back and get that in a minute when I uh, Head back, guys. Sorry about that, but you know me, I don't like lineups. 
Just let this guy go. Wow. Once one thing changes or stops, like you literally get a traffic jam of people because of one truck. And I still say that the shopping, they should not have the Shoten guy here. Uh, give me one sec, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna lead you guys up here and uh, I need a sip of this uh, lemon drink, of course. So. Oh. Oh. I will, I promise to go back and get the, hey John, uh, get the dongo. Once there's nobody there. It's funny how nobody was standing in front of the store and as soon as I walked by, there's 10 people there. Coincidence or they're just against me? Hey, Kumo, how are you? Oh, that lemon drink is amazing, people. And of course, somebody just walked out and looked at me and like, why do you have your... Oh, thank you, Jim and Harry, I appreciate that. And I will go back and get the dongo. That's pretty cool, Namaste. Of course, Indian restaurant there, which is... Uh... I love Indian food. Makes me have smelly farts. <laughs> uh... More recycle shops. Heather Fling, how are you? Come on guys, smash that like button. Let's hit 100 likes before uh, an hour and a half. And uh, again, thank you, uh, El Snatterick, for being here and uh, your one hour donation. Appreciate it. We have 84 people in the chat right now, so we should have 84 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Support local, again. The prices are not as cheap as I thought. Those mushrooms are cheap though. 130 yen and a dollar. Nice, nice, I like that. I'm gonna have to get those too. God, there's so much things, you know, no matter where I am walking around Tokyo, if you see good prices, snack, smack them up. That's kind of an interesting looking store. Oh, thanks, Ram. Yes, I'm getting the dongo. No cameras I can see on the front of the door there. Chazaka looks like, oh, they got green drinks, which means healthy, which means Drew doesn't like those things, of course. Not. This is the Chinese restaurant or the street food that I just kind of don't really want to get. Uh, but, you know, I'll let bygones be bygones. The lady standing there, I don't know if it's the same lady or not, was really rude the last time I was there. Um, so, yeah. Important domestic foods here. Now, this is very interesting to see. I see Corona beer. Like, really? Corona beer? Nescafe coffee, $4.98. I like the, this is uh, more freeze dried. I like the, I like the, um, the powder. That's the uh, Suave Nescafe. You got Goose Island, Corona. Oh, you got Jack Daniels and Coke, Jack and Coke. Pretty cool, it looks like you got some hot sauces. Muffins, those are Costco muffins. Those are Costco muffins. Eight ninety eight for Costco muffins. Banana nut chocolate. Busy little store here. It does look. I tried these. These are Italian peanut butter uh, cracker snack things. They're horrible. They're dry as hell. Can't go wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Dinosaur jellies. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
And thank you for the one, two, three, four. Always appreciate it. We're almost at the end of the show tank guide. The show tank guide does go all the way down, but the further you get down, then it's gonna be more specialized shops, uh, less busy. Uh, there is a salt store where Paolo, uh, he actually did a video a few years ago. I've always wanted to visit it, um, but it's never open. And I just don't wanna walk that far down to uh, see if it's still open or not. Especially when I see places like that. I see, uh, Karaoke, I don't know if that's Ninchikatsu or not. Alcohol and like a local little veggie stand. Those are freaking awesome, of course. It's a powder, yeah. Actually, you know what I drink, ladies and gentlemen? is I actually drink a, um, a generic uh, instant coffee. Cost me three bucks a bag. One bag will last me, you know, a couple of weeks kind of style thing or 10 days. And I'm okay with it because I can still make my coffee taste like shit and that's the way I like it. <laughs> Just saying. Paolo's videos are good. He's obviously, that's why he's one of the more popular uh, uh, video makers here in Tokyo. Uh, he puts the work in. He produce, He releases a video every Saturday in Japan and uh, well made. He's got connections, which uh, I wish I had to, you know, do individual uh, videos like he does. But, you know, we all have our limitations, I guess. I try to be as engaging and uh, entertaining on live streams. You know, some people hanging around, coming and going for two hours can uh, be difficult. And my moderators, some, some of my moderators are here all the time. And I really appreciate, you know, the community, the moderators, uh, everybody, just for uh, making this channel what it is today. And uh, did I say they have you subscribe to Tokyo Drew Travels at 420 subscribers? Go and subscribe right now. Go. No, just drew it. Go. All right, we're going to head back the other way. I got to go get the dongo, ladies and gentlemen. I got to go get the dongo. Kind of a map here. Now, this map doesn't is not big enough, but we are here. And I think the, the Shoten guy kind of basically ends just here. So we're coming back all the way here. Um, I wish it was a bigger map. But... I will be going all the way back to the start and seeing what else we can get along the way. No, I wouldn't, I don't want, I don't want hot sauce. <laughs> <coughs> Not at all. Nice little local store here. I, I passed by and I didn't even recognize it. It's like only a dollar. Looks like cat food. Never mind. <laughs> Canned fish is like saba, uh, mackerel, um, instead of tuna. Very popular here. Uh, oh my God, guys! Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. La cola. Fifty cents. That is too cool. And of course they have. Different uh, snacks along the way. Maui chips, different things like that, so. Thank you, Heather. Which is why that is not the gift coming your way, thank God. Ramsey Sound knows it is. We think you should love it. Well, thank you, uh, Jeremy, for your kindness. Um, haven't got it yet. I will let you know when I do. Always scared when people send me stuff because you never know what it's going to be. Like Jeremy sent me a Lego thing, Batman mobile. I still haven't built it. A lot of stuff sits in my closet until I can have my own man cave. Which will never happen because I'm married to a Japanese lady. Will I get my way and what I want?
Man, they should like really stop cars from coming down here. Okay. Again, 270 yen. Yeah, that is Menchikatsu. And they got sausage and something. Is that, is that men Menchikatsu? Dochi. Oh, Kuroke. Oh, Menchikatsu. Tatsu. Okay, guys, I'm breaking down. I'm getting the Menchikatsu. I, I got to. And I'm going to eat it here with you guys too. And I'm getting, they actually have beers, rice ale, Pilsner, IPA. They got uh, some grill, you got nice, it's nice and warm here. Ah, I got those ones. All right. We are going to try. Menchikatsu. Now, some of you love menchikatsu. I've eaten menchikatsu from different places. Let's try this one here. Mm. 270 yen. That meat and onion flavor is there. Amazing. Light, lightly fried. Pretty good. And not as oily as the other place. So, this is Meat in Delhi, I guess, is the name uh, here on Toshogi uh, Shotengai. Looks like you got a nice aquarium inside, and you got a few street snacks here. It is 12 22 in the afternoon here, so you know, hopefully, they'll start selling some more of this food. Mmm. Wow. Wow. And a lot of people when they when they eat menchikatsu may not say this, but sometimes the meat mixture is too hard, if you know what I'm talking about. This has like this is flexible. Very lightly seasoned. It's actually really good. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm. Now we're going to go get the dongo. Mm. swallowed or breathed in the lemon. I can see the dongo shop. Still has a lineup. And if it's the same people, I'm going to freak out when I go. Jason in Michigan took this tongue to say hi to you. Hi. Bye. Okay, there we go. Let's get to 100 likes, everybody. If you... Uh, are just joining me, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button. Oh my god, there is a okay, that's the Chinese place. I thought there was a lineup, sorry, I thought it was a dongle shop. I was gonna freak out. Oh, these are the people that were at the dongo shop, I think. Damn, see, I had a, a couple savory things and now we need to have something sweet. Again, this guy almost hit me, I didn't hear him. They don't use their horns very, very much here, which I wish they would. You got a horn for a reason, people. Use it. Mm. 
minus 20 to 30. My God, I'm so happy I don't live back home right now. You know, in uh, all the different places. See Brussels sprouts. You can actually get Brussels sprouts here in Japan. They want $1.50. I picked up a one kilogram bag for seven bucks. <coughs> it was so yum, love Brussels sprouts. I'm probably gonna be making uh, fried Brussels sprouts tonight with uh, garlic, or no, mashed potatoes because Hiromi's working tomorrow, so I can't have garlic. And uh, meatloaf. Yum, people, yum. Cobra is trying to say that she's sweet and innocent, and I guess I'm gonna throw up soon. Always nice to uh, walk around these uh, Shoten guys. Love it, really do. And I hope you do too. You know, I bet like, you know, Vietnam and Thailand and India and a few other places in Southeast Asia, they use their horns a lot, they really do. Um, I've seen videos, I've, you know, visited a couple of those places. Here in Japan, they're just so polite. This place makes fresh, ri uh, fresh rice balls, but they're actually sitting down and uh, waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for, but I'm coming in here, ladies and gentlemen. We hit the dongle shop. Look at that. I know which one I'm going to get. Which one would you get with the onko? I think that's like a, kind of a spinach or something with onko. Not sure what all these different pastes are here, but I'm getting this one, the tra a tra more traditional. Or you can get the shoyu one. So yeah, we'll get uh, one of these here. Right, see what's that? I think he thought I was just filming or something. Hey, Reed, how are you? Hunter Gatherer R. So, guys, this is what I'm here. Look at that. And they just, right there. Yum. Love these things. There are a bunch of other things like Daifuku and, and uh, Kinoko, different things like that. So, hey, Mas. Hey. All right, here we go. We're going to come off to the side here. They do have seating here. Uh, this is my little sweets uh, taste test. Now, if you have never eaten dongo, it is heaven. I'm telling you. You know, you can't go wrong with it. Um, as a Japanese sweet, I just sat on a chair that has a lot of duct tape. But uh, yeah, if you've had dongo before, let me know in the chat what your favorite uh, dongo is. This, look at that, look at this. Oh, this is why I love these Shoten guys because you can walk around and eat, uh, you know, small little snacks and different street foods. Yes, this is very good, of course. Oh my gosh, I really want one. Sorry, Corey, I know you should come back, eh? I can't wait to meet you, and hopefully uh, you come back. I want to catch a buzz with you, man. Okay. <laughs> Remember, I don't drink that much. Not allowed, huh? About man cave? Wow, that's really late. Like, are you, Jackie, you need to refresh. Mmm. He asked me if I wanted it heated up. I said no. I don't mind it cold or hot. Having it warm is probably a little bit better. Um, just more delectable on the palate, I guess you could say. But, uh, you know, having the seaweed, look at that. Like, doesn't that look good? So again, you know, we tried to go to that chicken place. It's gone. Socks. We did see KFC. But 
down this Toshogi Shoten guy, I think it's more personal, more food, more little snack shops. We had that yakisoba taiyaki. I can't believe we, we found that. And that shop is amazing. I will visit it every time I come here. Hey, Mission Creek, how are you? Um, you know, we had uh, the dongo. We had uh, the menchikatsu. The menchikatsu, it was a good taste, but would I get it again? Probably not. Even though it wasn't as greasy as the one I had before, um, yeah, just can't be bothered with it. Yeah, I, I agree, Mom. Like, having it warmed up is better, but... Mm. The first bite, you take the seaweed off both pieces. Maybe they should cut it for each ball. Because we found balls, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. But, you know, for Japan... Having something that's sweet, but not overly sweet, is probably something that you will get used to. I, like, I love, you know, super sweet Walmart cakes. <laughs> super sweet icing, you know, with chocolate ganache and all these things. But now I'm more Japanized, where I actually appreciate things like this. I appreciate mochi, I appreciate dongos. Um, the Japanese really just don't like things so sweet. And things that I find not so sweet, they'll still think, wow, so sweet, so. Hold on one sec. Oh. And they have a garbage right there. So again, walking along these uh, side streets, always amazing. That's what kind of little street foods that you will find. It doesn't help that this truck is taking up half the, the street here with their construction and stuff. But yeah, this is the dongle shop here. Lots of uh, different uh, things that you can order. But mostly, you know, obviously it's going to be more cheap. So. Hope you enjoyed that. You like soybean pancakes? Drew, you probably never visit Japan, but Drew, you bring Japan to me, even if it might forget the specifics tomorrow. <laughs> love you, man. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. And if you all love me, show your support. Smash that like button. Again, Watts is a 100 yen shop you don't see much of. Um, but still probably worthy. I should go check out their, their gloves because I need gloves. Because I lost Vin's gloves. I can't believe it, I'm gutted. I'm gonna check out the dollar store gloves here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, they are so small, I would probably kill them. It's a buck. Maybe these will be a little bit bigger, but you can see my hand is probably bigger than the glove. Because, you know, obviously Japanese people aren't that big. Oh, they got like little rubber balls on them. <laughs> okay. Oh, cute little socks though. I thought I saw something here. No, I guess not. And then we are back to that izakaya. Oh, I just saw they have a Jai Pak chicken burger. Uh, the Taiwan, I think it's Taiwan chicken. Oh no. Oh yeah, the largest chicken sandwich in Japan. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and make the largest chicken in Japan now. Hmm. Local bookstores. Hi, Animal Chatter, how are you? <laughs> and we are heading back uh, this way to finish up, uh, hopefully around the two hour mark, another 30 minutes or so. So if you, uh, you want to hang out, that'd be great. 
pet shop baby doll is closed, but look at that cute little puppy up there. The puppy's really cute. We might go to the lottery booth uh, that we saw earlier. I do have to check my ticket that I bought yesterday. And you'll see the numbers in the Patreon only video when I post it up uh, probably tomorrow. I don't know what that language he was speaking, but he was European of some sort. Back to Tommy's pudding coming up on the left here. Again, uh, 400, 400 and something yen to get to a Tommy's pudding. It is pretty good. She got a little taste test out here, of course. They do have a, a birthday promotion where you got 10% off if it's your birthday. Um, it looks like they have, see, look at this. I'm gonna walk right in front of the car and cut them off. Sorry about that. Niku Bento, again, we had passed by this uh, earlier. Great name, right? Niku Bento. Frickin' karage. Different meats, porks. And it's a bento shop, look at that, look at that. That's awesome, I love karage. Oh, it's so. Open stand, how are you? Again, I know this place is famous. This is uh, Yakuban. Um, oh my God, these old ladies and their fucking bikes. Oops, sorry, you shouldn't have heard that. Shumai, they got egg rolls. Maba dofu, lots, lots more bentos. Look at that, they're freshly steaming the buns right there, the shumai or whatever. Yeah, God, I like it, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the tonkatsu. Tonkatsu is also chasing mission, not even 11 p.m. tonight, and I'm buzzed. I'm in trouble tonight. Uh-oh, well, we better get you hooked up. <laughs> and now we can walk a little bit faster. We're going to head uh, towards the lottery booth here, ladies and gentlemen, as I... Uh, Come into the back streets for one second. We're just gonna walk around the block while I have a quick puff. Well, that's a cool photo or mural or whatever it is. I like that. Now I will say, I, I said earlier, I'm proud of my uh, shorts video hitting 10.4, 10,400 views or whatever it was, but have you all seen it? Have you all gone over, smash that like button, comment on it. <coughs> the more traction I can get on videos by likes and comments, um, the more I might get recommended. So that's great support right there, ladies and gentlemen, by helping me uh, with something simple that takes the click of a button. But thank you. I'm, I'm so happy today. Or is it just the drugs? Hmm. Yeah, it's a nice wintry day today. It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. I can't see it snowing at all. Thank you, uh, Jeremy, appreciate that. I think we're sitting at 8,819 subscribers or something right now, so... Uh, yeah, my dream of hitting 10,000 subscribers is reachable. And I hope I do it soon. I hope I do it relatively soon. Oh, it's a ledge. Kind of a weird, I don't know what this is back here. Sun Auto Service. I see the, oh, for G6, Honda! Fixing these like probably little bikes here or something. Probably lives upstairs. And I'm just walking around the block here. Thank you, Corey. 
Oh, he's turning. Just a different view hitting back to the Shoten guy. Now make sure you got your numbers ready, ladies and gentlemen. I will try to take them in consecutive order. What the hell is that? Oh my God, a shrimp tempura place. Look at the signage for that place. That is hilarious. I don't know if you can see on the, on the ground there. They got a big ass white tempura shrimp thing. That is hilarious. Who wouldn't want to go eat there? It's awesome. Of course, over across the street there, they got Hotomoto too. And we're just gonna walk back up to uh, the intersection. More vending machines. Oh, this is uh, Toshogi Station. I think it's part of the Asakusa line. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's part of the Asakusa line. Did not know that at all. The exit here, and then they had the other Ika, Ika Gami line, this small little station, which is just back over there. So I guess there are a few uh, different ways that you can get in here. You can see there's the Toshogi Station, Asakusa line, which is kind of interesting. We found a ledge, ladies and gentlemen. We found another ledge. I gotta uh, have some more tea here. Just bear with me it's uh, my voice is getting better but uh, at the same time oh and by the way ladies and gentlemen for all my patreon members <coughs> yeah you can see this Las Vegas I want to cover this up I really do but uh, for those of you that are getting postcards this month um, yeah this is the $12 jacket I'm pretty sure you already know but in my letter that I wrote to each and every one of you $12 jacket right here all right, let me uh, get this and let's head over to the lottery booth and have some fun picking some community numbers, which I have not won in six to eight months. Got to get the right numbers, people. Put a Tokyo Drew sticker over the label. If I could somehow, I'd ruin the jacket by having this unstetched, but a Tokyo Drew thing here would be pretty damn cool, man. Have a look at a back alley kind of messy place. There you go. This is the Mr. Donut. They actually have a promotion or a collaboration with Godiva, Godiva, whichever one you want to pronounce. But again, I don't like Mr. Donut. Nakao, another cheap uh, ass place where you can uh, have some good Chinese food, Mabado food, gyoza, different uh, things. Look at all those. Damn almighty, that is horrible. Fish eggs, a bowl of rice and fish eggs. Some people would like that though, not me. And we are headed back over that way. Golf! Yeah, I, you know what, Hunter Gatherer, I agree. And in my letter, Hunter Gatherer, that you get in the next uh, few weeks uh, with your package that's coming your way, I'll also say this is where'd all the videos go? Just saying, send me a message. All right, we're heading uh, back to the second half of this. Well, I could do that two-star shine, but it means I'd have to ask my wife to do it. We don't get blizzards in Tokyo at all. And Hiromi would not want to help me. Mini stop. The, the, the ones that I come across, again, summertime, best soft serve ice cream for convenience stores anyways. Let's go.
I don't mind uh, Cozy Corner and some of their products, not too bad. But again, they are expensive. You know, $5 for a little two inch cake or three inch round or whatever you call it. I'm gonna just find the lottery booth here. <clears throat> we don't get snow in Tokyo very often. Uh, Jason, sorry, I had to look at the chat to remember your name. <laughs> Granted, a great feeling walking down, being a part of the local uh, atmosphere. This is that bakery. I, well, I really want to go in there, but pretty sure they wouldn't appreciate the camera. Where'd that lottery booth go? Where are you? Oh, bakery. Oh, okay. I went to go, I, I checked yesterday. I was like, what the hell? You know, as I was walking, ladies and gentlemen, I did not notice the Maccas. You know what? I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get the butter. Oh, I think this guy is just promoting himself for something for the city. Kind of funny, just standing there like that. I'm going to go in here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting the butterscotch pie for you guys. We've got to try it. We really do, since I've been snacking all day. That's... Uh, Go in. Okay, wait, how far do I have to go in with a camera? How big is the lineup? Let me check that first. Oh, okay, never mind. God damn it, I really want to get the butterscotch pie. I'm not getting the Ebby burger. Not unless you tip me 50 bucks, Cobra. <laughs> okay, there's a lineup in there. We'll try to hit the next one on the way back then. Or we'll wait for tomorrow. But I'm still hungry, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta find something to munch on for local fairs here on the uh, Shotengai area. Maybe we'll go get the natural donut. Let's go try that maybe. For all you uh, people that are new to the channel, uh, they have a donut shop up here, uh, all naturally made. Butterscotch pie sounds good. Yeah, it does. It sounds really delicious to me. It just came out uh, three days ago here in McDonald's. Uh, it's uh, gonna be on the menu for about a month, uh, along with their chocolate pie. So uh, I think now they offer the apple pie, the chocolate pie, and the butterscotch pie. I know, maybe we'll do a pie comparison tomorrow. Maybe I'll, I'll be Tabby Eats 2.0 tomorrow. <laughs> Holly, natural donut sounds gross. Um, don't know, I guess we're gonna have to go and find out, eh? We are coming up to uh, the Ikegami line again. This is, of course, Toshogi Ginza Station. Small, cute little station like I showed you earlier when we were walking the other way. Little platform. And not much to, you know, to see. This is the whole station area just on both sides here. Kind of cute in a way. Turn the other way. It's basically tunnels going under the city there a little bit, but still, who's Tabby Eats? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I gotta see what this is, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> these look amazing. You know what these remind me? Are these snickerdoodles? These might be snickerdoodles, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm gonna go in and get something. You know what, I found a table so I can put my camera down here. I'm going to, uh... yeah, they do have them. And they're only a dollar, two dollars each. So I'm gonna grab a couple here. Three, two for Hiromi and one for me. <sighs> Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Eh, where's all my money? And then I promise we'll hit the uh, 
lottery store. <coughs> this is your typical uh, kind of Japanese sweet store uh, where you can have different things, you know. Um, they do have puddings, they do have uh, other sweets, they have senbei, um, different kind of bomb, like cakes and stuff, so it is pretty cool. Oh boy, she's explaining everything. Oh my god. Old people. I got strawberry. Blueberries, berries. Oh, I just want to get the regular one. ご飯のはい、これ3つ。3つ。はい、ありがとうございます。これは何ですか?大丈夫です。大丈夫ですかね。すいません。では、こちら3点で430円です。持ち歩き用のお時間ってどのぐらいかかられますでしょうか。もう30分。30分ぐらいか。これ最後の特にお付けします。多分大丈夫。多分大
Where'd that natural donut shop go? It's up here. I know, I, it was hard. I couldn't fit them in a box, Jeremy. Small enough to keep it. That's why I sent you two individual packages. Uh, you got both packages, right? Not just the one? If you got just the one, there is another one on its way. It's two packages. So this here is the uh, Floresta Nature Donuts. I'm gonna get a donut. We're gonna give it a taste test. Not sure all the different tastes here, but, ah, oh, they do have English. This is like Kinoko Sosta Roasted Soy. Sorry, my uh, microphone, my receiver just fell off its gimbal here. Do you have cinema? Yes, this one. Oh, you cinema. speak you speak English? Thank you. Kore <laughs> So we got a cinnamon. Sh sugar? Yes. Okay, one of those. One. Okay guys, uh, let me just pay here and uh, we'll have a taste test, of course. I got a sh I got uh, basically a cinnamon donut and a sugar donut. So, these are all natural, ne? Natural, yes. Domestic material. With domestic, all ingredients, eh? Yes. Oh, good, nice. I, I was here before, because I about a year ago, I had the three little balls. Dumpling. Dumpling kind of style. It was okay, but yeah, I want to have this one. Enough. Yeah. Yep. Uh, 454. You know, so this is 454 yen, people. Uh, that's it. Thank you. <sighs> Don't need a bag because I'm going to eat right here. Don't need. No, s save a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So again. You need a receipt? No. 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 We are YouTube live right now, so. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, let's. Uh, Sit down here and, and turn the camera. Who was that? Oh, Christian, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And your package will be mailed out on Monday now that you've joined me here. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so this here is the cinnamon uh, natural donut. It's a cake donut. Mmm. Okay. First off, it's spongy. Oh, thank you, Corey. Appreciate it. The cinnamon coating is lightly dusted. It's not heavy. It's not overwhelming. I think it's really good. Um, you can see here. The, the outer coating, I guess, is a bit crispy which is something that I like. Uh, it doesn't make it a spicy. Mm. Absolutely, Ramsey Silent. Mm. It's actually really good. Now, I love my, like I said earlier, I love my sweets, but this Again, the Japanese uh, level of sweetness has been balanced. And uh, it was nice that he spoke English, you know? I was surprised. Ah. Of course, I'm not gonna finish everything. I don't wanna be a glutton. It's like I smoked a big fatty or something. I wish. All right, this is just the, uh, the sugar donut. So again, let's give it a try. I should have eaten this one first, then the cinnamon maybe, but. Mmm. Okay. It's crispy again. It's nice to be able to taste the texture, taste the texture, taste the donut itself along with the sugar. This is a, I'd say a damn perfectly made donut for Japanese standards. He did tell me all ingredients are sourced locally. 
How awesome is that, people? All right, we have the two hour mark. Have we had 100 likes? You know what to do, guys. Hmm. Hungriness, right, Starshine? Drew doesn't think they're good, but I like his food reviews. Well, thank you, Mission Creek. I don't think I'm good at describing food, but um, just because I'm not in the food vlogging business, I guess you could say. Mm. I'm just I'm just picking it apart here. I want to do the guts of it. So you can see here, it's spongy, yet it's still moist. Again, the outside, lightly dusted, not too overtake the flavor of the actual donut itself. It's damn good, man. I forgot my wet wipes today. Papa Mike gave me some uh, of these amazing wet wipes that don't, are not floral. Hey C, how are you? Um, I ate half of each donut. I'm gonna save these for Hiromi, actually. I know it sounds weird that I'm saving food for my wife, but she's like, oh, what did you do today? And I'll be like, oh, I went to the Shoten guy, I did a food review. She'll be like, well, where's my freaking food? I know, I know exactly what she'll say. So I kind of wrapped them like a guy wrapper in some of these things. Actually, I'm gonna ask the guy for a bag. <laughs> ah, no, I'm okay. I don't need a bag. Just put it in my my bag here hopefully it doesn't uh, spill over this bench is very very um unstable so i gotta get off here oh thank you all snatter rake oh sorry 94 likes at two hours well thank you i like how all snatter rake does an hour thing and then uh <coughs> helps uh support the channel with super chats on uh, the two hour i appreciate that and again if you want to help support me by all means Super thank me. And smash that like button. All right, let's go. Thank you. They were awesome. Awesome. I, I, only, I only ate half of each because I have to take half humble to my wife. <laughs> but they were good. They were really good. Oh, sorry. What is, is this? Like caramel? Yes. Salty caramel. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, guys, salted sweet caramel. And salty. Sweet and salty. Yes. I'll have to come back with my wife. Maybe she'll like it. But those were good. I like those. Those were awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Salted caramel donut. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm missing out, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what? It is what it is. I haven't seen the lottery booth. Maybe it was back at the other show ten guy. I got I got to walk back there anyway. So I'm gonna give you guys a chance to hang out with me more. Those wet wipes Mike gave you aren't slop soapy, right? No, they're not soapy at all. They're not fragrant. Fragrant? <laughs> uh, they're not smelly. They were a man's hand wipe, and I appreciated it. So thank you, Papa Mike. Thank you, Papa Mike. Karage. Oh. Oh. Karage. Jeffrey Niarco. Still continue to believe in the Lord. Oh, Jesus. We've got one of these people. Ah. Now I need one more hot lemon drink. I am almost out. You can see the bottom there. Got to find... One more, then we'll hit up the, the, the lottery and uh, call it a day for now. Uh, I think we will be live again tomorrow. Jesus Christ, this, these, these trucks. This is the one thing I think you might get frustrated with uh, walking around in Japan is people are not supposed to park, yet they still do. All right, look at that coffee. 
Nice. The, the smell and the aroma coming out of this store right now. He's brewing and grinding his own coffees. Love it. Oh my God. And there's that Tayak, crazy Tayaki place again. Man under waves. <laughs> Got the Yakisoba Tayaki. That's awesome. Again, you can still see more of the, uh, the street mascot here. Mm. Well, that's good for you, Jeff. <laughs> oh, God, people. So we're coming back to the end of the Shotengai where we uh, first started this part. This is the, the longest uh, outdoor Shotengai uh, in Tokyo. God, why do you gotta drive so fast, dude? Like there's freaking people walking. <coughs> God almighty. That street mask had balls. Hey, there's more green balls right there too. Oh, this is grandma's curry. I didn't even realize. It's grandma, and she's cooking curry. Woo! Gotta bring uh, Quentin here. <laughs> Who? Who? Travel log pick, how are you? Welcome back. Again, local vegetable stores. Pieces of daikon for 50 yen. That makes a great snack. Great cooking, you could cut it up, put it in stews and stuff. Cabbage heads for a, a dollar, 150 yen. Again, supporting local, the bachans in the back there. Big ass daikon right there for 150 yen. This is cheap. Oranges a little expensive, but not really. You're getting six oranges for 300 yen. Actually, this is a good deal for a couple things I see here. The problem is, is I wouldn't shop there because I'd have to take the train. The train cost me 400 yen each way. I'm gonna see if there's a garbage over here. I'm guessing there might be. And, yes! Ha! I'm so smart. And we're gonna head back towards the main street here. Uh, I won't lie, I'm buzzed. Yeah, we know that. Catalpa, it's cute you're Canadian come out when you get angry. Does it? Can y'all, can, can you guys tell, tell I'm Canadian, eh? Because I wear toques. Don't eat yellow snow, eh? <laughs> we don't have any accents, eh? I don't know why Canadians say eh a lot, but we do. Ah, smoke time, ladies and gentlemen. El Snattery gifted five memberships. Thank you for supporting the Emoji Club. Really appreciate that. I'm going to take the shortcut. We're going to hit some back streets. Maybe we can find something interesting as we head back over towards the lottery booth. Uh, the Palm Shopping Center is uh, kind of kitty quarter down in that area over there, but I'm going to walk down the side street here, zigzag around the corner. We got 100 likes. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You know, we may be, I may not have, you know, that many subscribers, 8,800, whatever. It's just a number, but I do want to hit 10,000. But this community is awesome, engaging. Um, I think, you know, I'm quite engaging as a live streamer and, uh, you know, recognizing the support and the thank yous to each and every one of you. Just awesome, man. I live for this. I live for live streaming. I live for, for videos. I'm not the greatest. I know that. I do things in my style, but... I've met a lot of great people through this channel, a lot of uh, friends, acquaintances. Thanks guys. It's a great day! And it's freaking loud over here, they got construction going on. I say A a lot, not really. Oh, they got a dental office. Internal medicine office, but not much else over there. If I go down this street, it looks kind of boring. So I think I'll come out through here a little bit. <coughs> you 
You cannot wait for the next meetup? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I will say this. There will be a meetup in the next six months. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, that is an awesome movie, by the way. Yes, yeah, Strange Brew. Take off, eh? Let's see if I can come down here, but I bet it's a closed off street. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Yeah, dead end. No, I'm not going to take a chance. It looks like I can go through there. Let's go check. Walking into a little bit of transmission. We're unstable, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out of here. God damn it. Kind of like this building in a way. I don't know if it's a building or a restaurant. Looks like this area is very unstable. Well, I kind of like that uh, Japanese feel to the front of the area there. We've got 102 people in the chat. We hit 100, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. But now my transmission is unstable. Come on. Hoser. Um, the earthquake happened on the other side of Japan for me. So we felt a shake. Uh, of course, it's about a three. God almighty, I hate hitting areas where it becomes unstable. But yeah, um, honestly guys, as I'm walking here, uh, the earthquake was no joke. And uh, it was a 7.6 or whatever it was over on uh, Noto Island, Noto Peninsula, uh, over in Ishikawa. Uh, I have a lot of friends that live over there and co-workers. Uh, everybody is safe, but uh, you know, with uh, 200 plus uh, passing on their life, uh, there's about 35 people missing still. Uh, there's a lot of construction that needs, rebuilding that needs to be done. Prayers for Japan, man. And then of course we had the, the plane accident at Hanada the next day. It hasn't been a good start, but I think things are getting better. And then we had the Boeing uh, 737 MAX 9, I believe it is, uh, door blow out on Alaskan Airlines. Like, not a good start to 2024 at all. Brandon, how are you? Welcome back. Okay, I think the lottery booth was kind of at the beginning or the end of this Shoten guy coming up, so let's head back there. I got a des one dessert to bring home to Hiromi. She's actually working uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Oh. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with me. I hope you don't go far. And again, if you want to help support the channel, it is Super Thanks uh, Saturday. I do appreciate your kindness and generosity. Thank you. All right, we are heading back into the Palm. No, not ladies and gentlemen, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's not the Palm Casino, which is in Las Vegas. It is the Palm. Shotengai Covered Shopping Street. Oh, see? I didn't even realize I had cut off there. Sorry, guys. That's why I lost 30 people all of a sudden. Urgh. Oh, 40 people. Lovely. Oh, well, for those of you that stuck with me, hopefully we'll find the lottery booth. And away we go. Thank you, Hunter Gatherer. I appreciate that, brother. Every cent helps. <coughs> Let's go find that lottery booth. Where is it? Sorry about that, guys. I really am. I'm going to, uh, hold on one second, I'm going to go refresh my own live stream here because see if we can bring it back up here. I was actually lagging too, which is absolutely insane.
All right, so we are standing back live again. 106 likes, thank you so much. And uh, chat filter, I got to uh, re s redo everything here. Yeah, look at that, I lost 40 people in five minutes. Damn. It's things like that that I do worry about, ladies and gentlemen, just to uh, give you guys a good live stream. Yeah, we're just walking the reverse way here, trying to find that damn lottery booth. Maybe it's at the beginning. I have no idea where it was. But again, you get to see what a Saturday afternoon does look like. But in my opinion, this is definitely a shopping street you do want to put on your bucket list visiting Tokyo. Thank you, Jason. Is that the alcohol talking or from the heart? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, interesting little store there. It's a tailor shop actually, a kimono shop. Lottery booth, where are you? We will find it, ladies and gentlemen. It will be the death of me in this live stream before we uh, hit it up. But hey, we will find it. Remember this. I said I wanted this. They have a lot of... Yeah, I'm from... Fucking hell. Frustrating. Is there any frickin' area that I can Alright, I hope we're back, but uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry guys, this is uh, getting on my nerves. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut it here. I can't hit the lottery booth uh, due to reception problems. I apologize. I really am sorry. And, uh, yeah, not much I can do about it, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to my moderators uh, for being here. I really appreciate you. And um, I'm sorry for uh, the reception problems. Uh, if, you, if you ever come here to live stream, probably skip it. Um, I, uh, I apologize. I'm not going to hit the lottery booth because it is becoming stressful for me. Uh, and the reception. So again, I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, we will be back again live tomorrow. <sighs> God almighty. Thank you for your donations, your super chats, uh, your super thanks, your super stickers. Thank you for the gifted emoji club. Thank you for supporting this channel as best as you can. I really appreciate it. In the meantime though, please check out these two videos here. The Patreon link is here if you want to become part of the TD Crew Simon family and sign up to my new channel. Tokyo Drew Travels. Keep a rookie roster to yourself because I always do. Bye guys.